Good morning. <clears throat> Hi, Rosemary. <clears throat> How are you? Hi, Samantha. Hi, Allison. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Connie and Jackie. <clears throat> Hi, Joanne. Hi, Courtney. It's good to be here. Thanks for stopping in to say hello. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. I love my Wednesdays. I've been a little bit busy with work and art stuff too, working on my course. So I feel like I haven't, good morning, Ellen. I feel like I don't have as much time to paint as I would like. So I was actually really looking forward to painting this morning. <clears throat> so I've been working on um, some paintings for my calendar. I wasn't gonna do a calendar this year, but I think I will, if I can get it done. No pressure, right? Hi, Allie. <clears throat> <clears throat> so um, I think I'm going to do flowers on like the white. I've been kind of playing around with flowers on the white background. And I'm going to do one of those today. I had done one before, I'll show you, the other day of um, Gerber daisies. But I don't like the, gr the green leaves look chunky and funky and weird. So I'm going to try and paint this again. And I like how it turned out. But no leaves. So we'll see how it looks. Um... So let me turn this around. Oh, my friend just sent me a text. Her husband's mom is wearing one of my the face masks from Society6 of mine. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna have to share that on social. I have a lot of pictures of people who bought um, some masks and stuff on on my Society6 page, and they're so fun. So I'm gonna have to figure out <clears throat> some time to do that. Okay, so where do I start here? I feel like I haven't painted in weeks, but that's totally not true. Hi, Holly. May I please know what paint you will be using? Oils, I'm going to be using oil paint this morning. Um, sometimes I use acrylics. You know what? I think I need to turn my radio down a little bit. Um, but today I'm doing oils. I have my fun little bin of acrylics, but my oil paints are what I have out. So that's where we're going. Sometimes I do things more for time efficiency than anything. I work on oil painting in a chunk of time and then I'll do acrylics when I get everything out for acrylics, so. All right, so we'll see how we do here. Um, and I got out a new color to play with that I didn't use the last time. Ellen said, I love my sky blue mask. It goes with it. Ellen, I'm gonna post your picture in your sky blue mask because you are adorable. Um, I'm just map in where I want this to go. Yes, I have to share them on social, hopefully today. I feel like I've had a lot going on and not quite doing all the things I want, but that's okay. It'll all get done in its own good time, right? <clears throat> I want to keep this loose. You know that forever trick is to try and keep it spontaneous and loose, and somehow that's always the hardest thing to do. All right. Let me see, I think I need some transparent red. I might play around with orange today too. I keep wanting to add like a cadmium orange to my palette. So I've been watching, I can't even remember who I watched recently that used cadmium orange kind of as a, a good mixer color and intrigued me because I'm not much into orange, but that doesn't mean orange can't have a good role in things that I do. <clears throat> loose and fun. Good morning. Glad to see your painting this morning. Good. Thank you for coming, Brady Lady. <clears throat> yeah, it feels good. It feels nice to be painting. 
So I have some large commissions that I need to work on. And um, <clears throat> I'm excited about that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi, Lonnie. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Tamara. What's new with everybody? <clears throat> I'm still having my coffee. I've been having a lot of issues with sleeping lately. And <clears throat> so I got up at like 5.30 today and feel like I've already had a super productive day. <clears throat> um, but I forget what I was going to say about it. <laughs> Never mind. It's running here a little bit. I like when the paint runs a little bit. Oh, I know. I was going to say I still have some of my coffee left, even though <clears throat> I feel like I've been drinking it for hours. Hmm. <coughs> Good morning, Sheila. I like when you put your name in when you guys say hello. Loose is the hardest. Why is that? Good morning to Florida. Hi, Sue. I don't know why. Painting loose is so challenging. I think it's saying the most with the least words. That's always the best of anything. Never really thought about that way. But <clears throat> like, you know, I worked advertising all my life. And really the very best and most efficient communications of anything are the simplest. The very, very simplest. So the simplest concept, the fewest words always have the most impact because they say so much with so little and it stands out. So I think it's the same with painting. It's trying not to put too much in there so you're making the biggest impact with the fewest brush strokes. Mm -hmm. And paying attention to each little detail. Like um, I used to work... Um, with a guy, Ward, and he, I still to this day think he was an amazing, amazing copywriter. And he would always write copy, and at the end, he would always put this like little kiss of something that just made it magical. Like, and it was, it was such a simple thing. I love the way he wrote copy. So I think creating art is maybe the same. That's why <clears throat> I love. The simplicity of, um, <clears throat> that's my Indian yellow, in Boca. Is that, Bo is that in Florida, Boca Raton? So I'm going to try to do that. Keep simple strokes here. And I do forget, like I get lost in something and start just kind of <clears throat> fussing around at it. And that's when it usually loses kind of its magic. You have to just let it be what it wants to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if any of you have pictures of yourself with, if you've gotten any of the face masks with my art on it I'd love to have them because I do need to do a post of that it would be so fun <clears throat> oh I'm sorry what do you think about just plain white background that's something I've been playing around with I've been doing a series of them that I think I'm going to use for my calendar this year and it's really fun um Sometimes it's a different way to think about the painting because like in this case, a lot of these colors pop because of the colors around them. So you almost have to like challenge yourself to think about how to make the colors pop standing on their own. Which I think is a good thing. That's a good exercise too, to like drop a background out and paint something and see if you can still get it to work because a lot of times it's, you know, like the supporting actors in the, in the show that <clears throat> help make it all work, you know, it's because of the, the green, like pink and green are always amazing together. So if you leave out the green, um, you know, what else do you have to do to really make it pop? 
as I'm saying that, I'm thinking about it. So I probably want to have some green in my in my actual flower. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. And then we can compare it to my other one here, <clears throat> which I might like more or less. Who knows? You know, no promises. And I always find, too, that things usually turn out better if you don't put too much pressure on yourself for things. Which is, you know, easier said than done. Especially when you have an audience, right? <clears throat> oh, you guys are talking. Okay, thank you. All right. I'm a little bit of this red. You guys can see, okay, I got, I have my little, oh, there, I turned my ring light away. I, I feel like it's a little brighter. Oh, <coughs> I'm using the RNF pigment sticks. Right now I'm going to put a little bit of this color in. What is this? This is a lizard orange. Oh, no, it looks very red to me. And that might be a little, a little too dark or something. I don't know. Not loving it. Okay. And I always like to put a little touch of my favorite color, which now I know I saw this earlier today and now I can't find it. <clears throat> malachite green, here it is, right here. This is my little stub of malachite green. I think I need to shop. I think it's time for some new malachite green. That's a good little touch. It's not much in there. <clears throat> Let me get close. There, can you see okay? Okay. Yeah, I love the RNF pigment sticks. They're so fun. Oh, I, now it's already time to mix my colors. I might finish quickly today. Okay, I'm closing up my my um and then I'm gonna turn you over here to my palette Move this closer my area is a little bit of a mess because I still don't have all my art stuff set up so I have all my paint favorite paints right here looks crazy doesn't it I think I'm gonna pull that off okay so I I got out this color I want to play with this today this is Montserrat orange. It's a pretty color. Love the donkey you did. Forgot her name. Oh, that's um Frankie. Sweet Frankie. Yesterday or two days ago. I might go for my walk after I oh, that's like almost that perfect. I had a feeling if I added that. Sometimes I can't figure out how to mix a color. And if I go into my bins of huge amounts of all the colors in the world. Just like that, there it is. That's the color I couldn't mix before. Like, see, I couldn't in this one. That color's not quite in there. It is close, but this is even better. I love color mixing. Is it, oh, this, yes. And I actually have brought, I have one that doesn't have this black line through it that I wanted to replace here, but I didn't get a chance to do that yet. Um, it is, um, I need to lighten that a little bit. And I'm afraid white might make it get a little chalky. So I'm going to use this. I have this Vasari Brilliant Yellow Light. I'm going to see how that mixes in there instead of white. I don't know if it's better than glass. Um, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing than glass. And I also think like for me to do this, for you to watch me, like I actually did this for my online um, course that I'm creating to make it easier to see. Because to film something while I'm mixing colors on glass, it was really distracting because you see all the shadows and everything. All right, that's a beautiful little pile. 
Yes, it's oil, so. <clears throat> um, so if I want to mute these oranges and reds, maybe I'll add some green. Well, I'm going to take, I think, this color. I'm just darkened that a little bit. Made a little bit more in between those two. Let's see what it looks like if I add a little bit of... Um, why don't I add a little bit of orange? I was talking about using orange as a mixing color. And a little orange. Lighten it a little bit. Even more. That's nice. And I think I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take a little bit of my um, magenta over here. See if it kind of mutes this a little bit, makes it a little bit more, a little warmer. Though I would think magenta would cool it. Is that actually cooler? Sometimes I have trouble. I guess this is cooler. Than this. <clears throat> I'm just going to add a little bit of King's Blue in there just to see what happens. And that made it much more subtle, much quieter. And I wonder if that's. No, I like that. I like that. I'm going to use the rest of this up and mix it in there. It's nice to have choices. Sometimes I'll mix up all these colors and I forget to even use them all. What did you say? We all did what? Sue, what are you saying? All follow each other or what? What do you do with your leftover paint? Oh, are you asking me that? I, um, well, I always clean this part off. I keep this as long as I can. I don't really have much leftover paint, I guess. I don't know, because I only paint for a little bit in the morning and then I clean it all up. So I don't I don't have time to do anything with my leftover paint. I wish I did. I always think about doing a great big canvas and then when I have favorite colors, putting them on in a square and marking them to kind of track my colors that way, like colors that I love. One of these days I'll do that. Well, that's a random color that I just felt like mixing. That could be like a, a little highlight color. I like, I like it with, it's really pretty with the oranges. I could use that kind of as a shadow color. I have my bright oranges. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. Maybe I will mix. <coughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to mix just a little bit of this red and add some sap green into it. Now that's too dark. Let's see what this does. That's similar to this color, isn't it? I mixed it completely in a different way. It's darker though. Put a little bit of magenta. Made a little bit of purple in there. A little bit more green. For my shadow areas. All right, I think that's a nice looking palette. All right, I'm going to go back up here. My missing comments. Hi, Allie. Hi, Linda. Okay, we're good. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. <clears throat> oh, forgot. I keep. I can't find a perfect one of these little arm things. This one falls down. Okay. Clean my my knife off. I always forget to do that and I come back in my studio and my knife is clunked with paint. I don't like that. 
Okay, so I need to put in where my darker areas are. Did order some new brushes. I can't wait till they can't come. I ordered Rosemary and Company. This is my favorite brush, and um, <clears throat> over time they've gotten my brushes have gotten a little a little lackluster. I'm having trouble getting them back to their the shape that I love. So I just ordered some new ones. <clears throat> Sometimes you just need to, right? So I'm thinking about like this is darker up in here, but it's also brighter. So I need to put some brights in there also. So I was um, had to film myself the other day <clears throat> to talk about. Um, myself which you know that's never an easy thing to do for the I'm going to be part of the Rittenhouse Square fine art show which comes up in September um I had gotten accepted into the show which is a really really fun show to do <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but of course they're going virtual so we'll see how that goes it'll kind of be fun to be part of it just to see what it's like doing it that way um, but I had to make a little video about myself <clears throat> and then my daughter Aunt Isabel was helping me edit it and um, iMovie I mean I work on a Mac all day long but you think I could figure out how to work iMovie it's crazy I know a little bit more now because I always want to um, I could go in and edit these videos and make them a little shorter but <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Need always need to have dark darks and light light areas too. More brights. <clears throat> Like I can't see very well. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. <clears throat> Might put a little glare on the paint, but I can see better. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you painting on canvas paper? Yes, is this what I did last week, Rosemary? It, it Yes, it's on Arches oil paper. <clears throat> it is a fun thing just to have around to work on too when you feel like painting something but you don't want to go to the expense of painting on a board and, you know, it takes some of the pressure off, I think. But I also like the texture of it. It feels much more like watercolor paper, which I love. I've always loved watercolors. Oh, here we need to do something here. Well, we kind of those loose edges. I want to have a whole mix of <clears throat> like reds and <coughs> and the hard part is too to be patient, like because I don't want to go in here and do too much to it. Um, of my light lightest lights. I always try to hold off on doing that till toward the end, but sometimes that can be challenging because you just want to get in there and see kind of how it's all going to come together. Some of these muted colors. So you want to have some colors that are kind of more quiet, some colors that are loud. I want these 
<clears throat> background ones to be pushed back a little bit so that when I do my lighter ones on top, they pop. It's fun so far. <clears throat> Good morning, Sharon. Maybe I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out one of my smaller brushes. I kind of feel like I'm a bull in a china closet here. <clears throat> these brushes too. <clears throat> I don't know how all my brushes wore out all of a sudden. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Sharon. <coughs> yeah, I love Gerber daisies. <clears throat> me too. Oh, there's some bright orange in there. Let me I feel like maybe I need to put some light lights in there to be a little more confident of where I'm headed or to get my um, shapes a little nicer here. I think that's good. Okay, I think I need more light, so I'm gonna mix myself a little bit more of a light color. Oh, that's fun, Sue. You guys, yes, all follow each other. I feel like the following has been, like Instagram's algorithm seems like it's a little lackluster lately. I never know why that happens. <clears throat> but follows are always great to get. I just mixed up more of a a yellowish. I don't know if I'm going to love it or not, but we'll try it in there and see what happens. <clears throat> I just felt like everything was getting too much the same color. As a new artist, she said, it is so much fun to see people that comment on your art. So I just love Instagram. Yes. And to watch you live. Thank you, Sue. I, I love that too. Instagram is, is fun. Like I've made so many friends in Instagram that, you know, that have come to see me at art shows and like that's just the coolest thing. It's a nice world. Well, it is. It depends who you follow, right? Some people talk about Instagram and all the negative things. And it's like, I guess, you know, I feel like... Instagram, even more so than Facebook, you know, you kind of reap what you sow. I feel like I only hear positive things on Instagram because those are the kind of people that I follow. Whereas on Facebook, I do hear more negative stuff. But I don't know. It's more little town stuff than anything. Oh, that was a nice stroke. These little, little, if you make these strokes intentional, these are the best. Allie, me too, Allie. Like you, Allie. You're one of my IG friends. And where did I meet you? At Rittenhouse, Allie? Is that where I met you? I actually forget. Yes. I do feel like the artist community is so supportive. And it is really cool because, you know, in a lot of other industries and stuff, it's about competition. And I don't feel like that in the artist world at all. You know, we're not really competing with each other. We're just supporting each other because if someone wants a piece of art, it's going to speak to them or not. And if 
they're looking for a piece of art that looks more like what you do, then I would certainly send them in your direction. Like that's, that's a cool thing about it. It's not like, you know, we have widgets and we're competing for the best price. That's not how it works at all. It's, you know, cause we're creating something that we want to speak to someone that, that resonates with them that they want to live with rather than, um, Competing on price on things. It's not at all what this is about. Lonnie says, so excited. I just got to open my laptop for the first time. I can see you better. Oh, yay. You So you couldn't get your Instagram to open on your laptop before? I wonder why. I mean, they do want you to post on Instagram on your phone. I'm not sure why. I'm sure there's a... Brilliant reason. But for the most part, <clears throat> you should be able to do it on your laptop. <laughs> I hope it looks okay, Lonnie. I always worry when people can see it big, like, <clears throat> do I look okay? Just not live videos. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. These dark parts here, I think so. I don't know. What do you think? <clears throat> Here's a bit of coffee. It's pretty fun. <clears throat> I'm excited to go play around with what this will look like in the format of a calendar. That's fun for me because I'm like a graphic designer and I have just as much fun, whoops, sorry, doing layouts of things than anything else. Love your stuff, but have to run to work. We'll check in with you next week, I guess. Great, Sue. Nice to see you. Have a great day. <clears throat> yeah, so I got up early. I already did work, and I did some reading and some brainstorming. So I feel like I've been very productive already today. It's the best feeling. Mm, I think I need to do a little bit of lighter. I look too dark now. That made little funky bottoms. Let me. I think it's getting close. I like the little, like, like, um, I don't know what to call it. Like the random underneath parts showing. Like, I don't want to paint so much that those go away because I love the feel of that. Add some texture in here with this really light color. Kind of give that a little bit more of a dimensional look to it. Just a little kiss of something light. Um. What do you think? Do you see anything I'm missing? some of this light up here too. I also have this. I keep wanting to play with this. Do I still have it sitting here? This Merge. It's called Italian Wax. So you add this in and it makes your paints really thick so that when you put brush strokes down, um, 
the thick strokes lay on top. And I keep wanting to play with that, but now is not a good time because if I'm going to use this for my calendar, I would want to scan them in so I have to have them dry. That's the hardest part is that patience. All right, I'm going to hold up the other one. Let's see. So that was the one I did the other day. I'm looking in here. What do you like? I do. I definitely like this better. Definitely. This has um, a little bit on top here. Let me play. I have this fun purplish color that I made. I haven't used it. Let me put a little bit of that in. Um, now I forget what I was going to say. So that would be a great exercise for everyone to do. Um, like paint the same painting like three times and then post it to see how it changes to see if you feel like it got better. Yeah, I think I do need green, don't I? I think like a little bit of bright green. Or do you mean in the background? Let me add just because it sounds like fun. Allie, doesn't that sound like fun? Do you want to do that? To um, paint the same thing. Green is nice in there. Oh, little leaves. No, because I think they're going to get clunky looking like this. I, that's what I didn't like about this one. Like that shape of those leaves are weird and my eye goes there like completely. Like I'm, I like this. Yeah, I didn't like the leaves in that. Now I feel like I'm just fussing around here, which I shouldn't do. Do I need any other light lights? A fun art challenge. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe we could do one all together. Should we do, what do you want to do, like oil or acrylic? We could do a challenge. I don't always like calling it a challenge. Let's call it a, a activity. I don't know something fun like summer camp fun and maybe I'll paint the same thing in post or not the same thing maybe the same subject I don't know what can we do I think I'm almost finished here a project, yes. Because I don't need any more challenges in my life. I have enough of them. And like setting goals like that, like I know people do that. <clears throat> so they stick to it, but I don't have any trouble sticking to goals. I'm actually get a little crazy about them. So I'm better off with fewer goals and more fun. All right, let me do one more leaf here. I might call it finished. I never finish early. Um, and I like to see that looks a little bit like watercolor in there. I like how that looks. I like these colors. I feel like that's coming forward. Um, maybe I need a little more. A little lighter down here, I think. In contrast to what's going on up here, I feel like down here is not quite light enough. <clears throat> I think before I mess it up, offer up a few reference photos and let's pick one. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's talk about this. Learn to paint adult camp. Yes. Okay. So if we did that... So we do acrylics or oils. Do we want to pick a reference photo? Um, 
I don't know, there's so many choices. I guess we would just start with something and go from there. Um, maybe when I do these morning lives um, on Wednesdays, maybe one Wednesday a month, we do it as a challenge. I mean, not a challenge, project. Now I am fussing too much. I'm going to stop because I'm going to mess it up. We could choose. Okay, we choose oil or acrylic. And like I would, would we just say a subject? Like say we're going to do florals or we're doing a certain kind of flower or we're going to do a bird or we'll just pick something, right? And start and go from there. I think I need a third little of these, this purple. I love this purple color I mixed. I'm adding it in just because I love it. That is a really good reason to do something, too, in my estimation. I think that's good. It's got a lot of fun colors. Okay. A bird with your picture. Okay. So there's where it landed. There's my reference. And then here's the one that I did before with the chunky greens and here I love this color palette it's so fun now if I didn't have to go to work I would have fun with that but it'll be dry by the time I come back okay so that was fun and I'm actually had a schedule um so okay let's think about this so maybe should we do it I don't know. I need to think about it a little bit. Well, you let me know. You guys give me your opinions. Um, you can send me like DMs in here if you want to or email me. Like you can go to my website and send me notes and and we'll do that and then I'll kind of announce it and we'll just pick a subject. We'll do a, a kind of a challenge and I'll paint it. Do you want me to paint first and then you paint it? No, I think we'll just send out the challenge ahead and Everybody paints it, and then I'll, maybe I'll do it on my Wednesday live, and then we'll all share it on social media so, so we can see each other's. So I'll have to think of a hashtag where we could share it. Kim's Adult Art Camp, K-A-A-C. I love it. Love it, love it. All right. Well, bye, guys. I'm off and running. I hope you have a wonderful day. So glad you came and hung out with me. I will do my best to save this and post it, and we'll see you same time next week. Goodbye.